If you haven't already figured out, I spent about two weeks in New York City visiting some friends and doing some well needed shopping and having a great holiday. Obviously, I did some hardcore shopping, so much so that I am having to do two or three little haul videos just to fit it all in because hello, my name is Beth and I am a shopaholic. My mum's in New York at the moment and she is taunting me with all these travel pictures that she's just taken today. <sighs> I'm not jealous. <laughs> it's a picture of my dad underneath a dead end sign. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the Forever 21 bundle and then we're gonna go on to the coach purchase from Macy's because that is definitely the more expensive of the two and you know I'd like to build up to something fantastic. I think I found my style. <laughs> Why are you this way? Where did your hat go? So starting off small with some hair accessories, I bought scrunchies. Scrunchies have been my thing lately, so I love having one of these in my hair just to give it that little bit of extra oomph and they're so easy to wear. Next up is the Chunky Silk Lilac Headband. I love these kinds of headbands because they're just so chunky and they add a little bit of oomph to a flat hair day. They became really popular from the Met Gala. All I can think of now is Lily Collins wearing her like headband with all the jewels and everything on it. And that was when everything started to come out that was chunky headband. I think this is a great fashion accessory just to zhuzh something up. It's broken. This did not survive the flight. That's so sad. It's fine. <laughs> Next up is another hair accessory from Forever 21. A very, very extra flower headband slash crown, I guess. I love things like this. I love being very extra with my hair, especially when I take photos of makeup. A good neutral look, I guess kind of like this and a very extra headband, some curls with my hair extensions. They would look bomb together. So this is a mesh top that I low-key freaking hated when I saw it on the rack because I was like, oh, it's so bright and I'm the type of girl that wears black everywhere. Literally everywhere. My friend Otto pointed this out to me and he was like, that's super cute. And I was like, eee. I think this is just so, so different to anything that I've ever worn before. So before I show you this next item, which is so me, my friend Otto pointed this out to me and I almost freaking die. But before that, he asked me to try on a jumpsuit that he picked out. I'ma put a photo of that right here. Look how awful that is. <laughs> <laughs> look how awful that is and how uncomfortable I look. It was terrible. I hated the fact that the trousers side of it was flared so it just drowned me even more but I just it had no shape to it. Whatever this bit was was terrible. The bandeau part oh my god like there was no saving that. I stood in the mirror looking at it going Oh, maybe you could try like a waist belt or something. There is no saving that jumpsuit. Whoever can pull off that jumpsuit, I bow down to you, honest to God, because it was definitely not for me. Are you guys ready for this? If this isn't the most me thing, then I don't know what is. It is a tutu skirt. I can't get it in the frame. Look at it! It is the most beautiful kind of faded out pink. 
I love the netting. I love the layers of the skirt. I am so into this vibe. Almost like my curtain background. I am so into this vibe of like curtains. Oh my God, can you imagine me putting fairy lights under this dress like my background? Next up is the moment that you've all been waiting for. It is the coach bag. Inside this coach bag is another bag. And inside that coach bag is another bag. I love this bag so much. Look at it! Isn't it beautiful? This bag was in the sale rack. Reduced from $550. Now I'm not sure I would have paid $550 for it. This bag was reduced from $550 to $330 in Macy's and it has my name on it. But it is probably the most beautiful bag that I own. It, it feels lightweight for how big it is. It can fit my laptop in it and it has a shoulder strap so I can take it just about everywhere with my laptop in it. I am obsessed with this bag and I am so scared of getting it dirty because it's white and I've never owned a white handbag before because I am notorious for getting things dirty. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my NYC haul. This is at least part one of what is potentially going to be three parts. I really, really hope you enjoyed. What is your favorite item? Put a comment down below. Follow me on my social sites, which you should have done earlier if you haven't heard about my NYC trip. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can catch up with part two and probably three. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one that's